Here's what we know for sure. 3i Atlas is real, it's interstellar, and it's been putting every space camera to the test. What we don't know is why every image of it looks completely different. One shot shows a glowing streak, another a fuzzy dot, another an egg-shaped blur that has half the internet yelling tic-tac. So tonight, let's sift through the real data, ditch the photo artifact, and figure out what's actually floating out there. The principal investigator of that the camera said that he, he cannot communicate the information to the public because of the government shutdown. I don't buy the shutdown excuse. That to me is really suspicious. NASA hasn't released these photos. It's not like nobody is at NASA right now is able to do this. That of course raises some uh, concerns that maybe they know something and do not want to let us know about it. Our story starts on Mars, October 4th, 2025. NASA's Perseverance rover was doing its usual business, snapping the Martian sky with its navigation cameras, when something streaked across the frame, a faint white rod of light slicing through the stars. It looked unlike anything Perseverance had ever seen. Within hours, the image went viral. A cylinder, a spacecraft, proof of alien tech, depending on which thumbnail you clicked. But before we cue the X-Files theme, let's talk cameras. The nav cams on Perseverance weren't built to hunt comets millions of kilometers away. They're designed to spot rocks and dust devils. To catch something that dim, the rover had to stack hundreds of short exposures over about 10 minutes. And during those 10 minutes, 3i Atlas moved fast. The result, motion blur. Every bright object, every star in the frame turned into a line. The comet just happened to be one of those lines. So the rod people saw wasn't the object's shape, it was the path it traced across the camera's detector. That's basic physics, but online, physics often loses to Photoshop. Some viewers even claimed they saw multiple craft behind it, seven ships trailing in formation. No official data supports that, and no instrument has detected separate bodies. So for now, the seven-ship convoy theory is firmly in the unconfirmed pile. So if the Mars rover's image was misleading, what about the professional observatories? The European Space Agency's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter had its CASIS camera trained on the same region of sky. The data dropped a few days later, a short video sequence, a moving white smudge against star streaks. Underwhelming, sure, but real science often looks underwhelming. Dr. Nick Thomas, principal investigator for CASIS, explained that 3i Atlas was 10,000 to 100,000 times fainter than the orbiter's usual targets. The camera had to push its exposure to five seconds per frame just to register a whisper of light. At that brightness, resolving the comet's solid core, the nucleus, would be like trying to spot a cell phone on the moon from Earth. Instead, Cassis captured the diffuse glow of its coma, the misty cloud of dust and gas boiling off the surface as sunlight hits it. The coma spanned a few thousand kilometers, but the tail, usually millions of kilometers long, was invisible. Too faint, the edges of the glow simply faded into background noise. Still, that faint halo mattered. It confirmed that 3i Atlas was active, venting gas as it passed near the sun. And that's where things start to get weird. Normally, as a comet wakes up, solar wind sculpts that outgassed material into a long trailing tail. But 3i Atlas's glow stayed tight, nearly spherical. Even months later, no classic tail reappeared. A coronal mass ejection from the sun likely swept it clean, but when ordinary comets lose a tail, they grow a new one within hours. This one didn't, which means either its composition is totally different or something is keeping its gas cloud locked neatly around it. Now, some astronomers suggest a simple explanation. Maybe the comet's just heavy. 33 billion tons of rock and ice packed so dense that sunlight can't nudge it much. Others, including Dr. A.B. Loeb, say its stability is unusual enough to deserve a closer look. Not necessarily alien, but definitely not typical. He's cautious, but he's watching. Meanwhile, ESA's CASIS video became the world's new Rorschach test. Depending on who you asked, people saw a spinning cross, a glowing capsule, even a TIE fighter. 
The truth is less cinematic. When you zoom that hard on an image that faint, digital noise becomes the artist. The cross is just the center grid pattern amplified by contrast. So yeah, it looks wild, but that's not evidence of engineering, just evidence of the limits of imaging faint targets from 30 million kilometers away. To prove that point, let's compare with Hubble's earlier shot from July 2025. From Earth's orbit, Hubble recorded a teardrop-shaped fuzz roughly 4,000 kilometers wide. Classic comet behavior, with the glow extending toward the sun. So ESA's newer view, the smaller, denser ball, actually fits. It's the same object, seen later, closer, brighter, but through a much smaller telescope. And if you're wondering about the Chile Observatory photo making the rounds, that one's real too, but it's not any sharper. Taken remotely from Rio Hurtado, it shows an egg-shaped blur consistent with the inner coma. Nothing alien hiding there, unless Aislinn Tech specializes in impersonating dust. So let's tally the score so far. Images we trust, Hubble, ESA's CASAS, and yes, Perseverance's blurred streak once you understand its limits. Images we don't, the viral Dobson Power Telescope shot that used solar filters and heavy digital processing, creating a phantom dark structure that doesn't exist. Great entertainment, terrible astronomy. That brings us to the central question driving all the speculation. If the data is this ambiguous, why haven't the agencies released more? NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter carries HiRISE, a camera powerful enough to spot a backpack from orbit. According to Mission Insiders, it took high-resolution frames of 3i Atlas during its Mars flyby. Yet weeks later, those images remained unseen. ESA has shared its blurry data. NASA? Nothing. That silence is what fuels every headline asking if something extraordinary is being hidden. Maybe NASA is just waiting to process the frames properly before public release. Or maybe the picture showed something the agency can't explain yet. Either way, we're caught in between two truths. The comet is real, and the information gap is too. So here's where we'll pause. We've traced the blurry beginnings, what the camera saw, what they didn't, and why half the internet is arguing over motion blur. In the next part, we'll dig into the deeper mysteries, why this comet has no tail, what its strange light signature means, and why every major space agency, from NASA to China, suddenly went quiet at the same time. Because sometimes, what you don't see tells you the most. Something about 3i Atlas refuses to behave. Every comment we've ever studied fall as a kind of script. Ice warms, gas vents, tail grows, applause from astronomers. But this visitor from another star system keeps ignoring its cues. It brightens when it shouldn't, it stays stable when it should wobble, and the one photo that could solve the puzzle, the high-rise close-ups, still hasn't shown up. When ESA released its faint CSIS video, most people shrugged, a fuzzy dot drifting across black space. Not exactly Independence Day material, yet the scientists who processed those frames were ecstatic. The glow proved that Atlas was active, venting carbon dioxide just as the Hubble data suggested months earlier. The catch? The halo stopped there. No shimmering comet tail, no streamer of dust a million kilometers long, just a tight sphere of gas, like someone had drawn a bubble and refused to let it burst. Mainstream researchers call this an outgassing anomaly. Others call it a cover-up waiting to happen. A comet that acts too perfect. Here's the math. A body 33 billion tons in mass should drift slightly when venting gas, like a balloon with a pinhole leak. But 3i Atlas stays locked on course. No measurable non-gravitational acceleration, not even a twitch. If it were a natural comet, sunlight and vented gas would nudge it off trajectory by a few dozen meters each day. Instead, it flies as if it has active stabilization, or as Dr. Avi Loeb put it, an unusually balanced distribution of outgassing. Translation, either nature got lucky or somebody built a self-correcting snowball. Now, Loeb isn't shouting aliens, he's careful, but he admits the pattern is curious. The object's trajectory hugs the ecliptic plane, the same flat disk or planet's orbit, deviating by only about 5 degrees. 
That's rare for an interstellar object, statistically less than 1% probable. It's like throwing a dart from another galaxy and hitting the solar system's dinner plate perfectly flat. So yes, the numbers look choreographed. And when things look choreographed, people start asking who's holding the camera? The polarization puzzle. When sunlight hits dust, it scatters. The orientation of that scattered light, the polarization, tells you what the dust is made of. For ordinary comets, polarization is mildly negative at small phase angles and flips positive at larger ones. 3i Atlas decided to crank the dial, a massive negative polarization of about minus 2.7% at only 6.4 degrees. That's the strongest on record. Translated from astronomer speak, its dust doesn't behave like any dust we know. The grains could be rougher, more metallic, or composed of exotic ices formed in colder, older regions of the galaxy. Some jokingly said the light pattern looked manufactured, like reflections off a polished hull. Scientists call that unconfirmed. Internet comment sections call it evidence. Humor aside, this measurement alone tells us Atlas likely formed in an environment very different from our solar nursery, possibly around the dying red dwarf, where temperatures plunge far below what we've ever seen. If that's true, the comet could predate the sun itself. That's not alien tech, that's alien geology. Enter the blurry bureaucracy. Meanwhile, the agencies keep playing hot potato with information. ESA's ExoMars mission proudly posts its faint frames, citing exposure times and pixel scales down to the decimal. China's Tianwen-1 and the UAE's Hope Orbiter both confirm they attempted observations. Then, radio silence. NASA? Nothing since Perseverance's streak photo. Yet we know the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera took shots the same week. High-rise can resolve details as small as 30 kilometers from that distance, enough to constrain the nucleus size once and for all, but the images remain classified as pending calibration. Weeks have turned into months. Sure, it could be bureaucracy. Data pipelines take time. But this is the same NASA that publishes stunning Martian dunes within hours. Suddenly, when the first interstellar object to pass near another planet rolls by, we get a paper trail instead of a picture. Even ESA scientists have admitted, politely, that they're waiting on complementary data sets from partner missions. Translation, NASA's holding the good stuff. Could it be that the frames show nothing interesting? Maybe. Or maybe they show something too interesting. A structure, a shape, a reflection that doesn't match expectations. Until the files go public, conspiracy has room to breathe. When the internet turns into a telescope, and it breathed, the viral Dubsonian power image captured with the solar telescope and processed to death sparked claims of geometric shadows and metallic scaffolding. In reality, the pattern came from the scope's filter grid interacting with motion blur. Every bright point, atlas, stars, cosmic rays became stretched bars of light. Stack enough frames and the sky starts to look like modern art. Still, the story spread faster than any scientific paper ever could. AI-generated composites of silver craft and glowing crosses flooded social media. And even when experts debunked them, the myth stuck. People wanted the anomaly to be artificial, and who could blame them? The real images were so faint that imagination did the rest. The data doesn't lie, it just whispers. Behind the headlines, instruments like Hubble, JWST, and SphereX have been quietly feeding data into the system. Hubble measured the glow extending about 4,000 kilometers toward the sun. SphereX detected a carbon dioxide plume stretching at least 348,000 kilometers. JWST spectroscopy confirmed an unusually high ratio of carbon dioxide to water vapor, far beyond typical solar system comets. That implies 3i Atlas formed in a frozen zone where CO2 was more plentiful than H2O, possibly the outer reaches of its parent star system. Even without conspiracy? That's extraordinary! We're literally sampling material forged around another sun. Yet because the images remain hidden or faint, the discovery feels less like triumph and more like tease. The sound of silence. Then came the coincidence that nobody wanted to call coincidence. 
During Atlas's closest approach to Mars, October 3rd to 7th, 2025, the U.S. federal government shut down, sending more than 80% of NASA staff home. But ESA wasn't shut down, China wasn't shut down, the UAE wasn't shut down, and still, not one agency released a clear image. No live stream, no press conference, no look what we found. Officially, ESA says the target was exceedingly faint. Unofficially, insiders whisper that all agencies share a cross-calibration agreement, which is fine, except that means everyone decided to be silent simultaneously. If you wanted to fuel a global rumor mill, that's exactly how you'd do it. Dr. Loeb summed it up best in a recent interview. If there is nothing to hide, there should be nothing to delay. A diplomatic way of saying, release the pixels. Maybe the mystery is the message. Let's zoom out, literally. 3i Atlas is hurtling through the inner solar system at nearly 200,000 miles per hour. In a few months, it will swing around the sun and fade forever into the dark. If the high-rise frames drop before then, great. If not, the mystery might become permanent, a cosmic cliffhanger written in missing data. Maybe that's poetic justice. Humanity's first real chance to image an interstellar object up close, and we end up arguing over a fuzzy dot. Maybe that's the universe reminding us how small we still are. Or maybe, just maybe, somebody's already seen the real images and decided we're not ready for what's in them. Unconfirmed, of course. So, here's where we stand. A comet that doesn't drift, a tail that won't form, a camera that sees too much, and a silence that says even more. Until NASA's high-rise camera photos emerge, 3i Atlas remains half science, half suspense story. But one thing's certain, whatever those hidden pixels show will rewrite how we see interstellar visitors, whether it proves alien engineering or just the strangest natural comet ever recorded. Either way, we'll be here to break it down frame by frame. If you love cosmic mysteries, subscribe, hit the bell, and tell me in the comments. What do you think? Nature's masterpiece or someone else's machine? Because sometimes the truth isn't out there. It's sitting on a hard drive at NASA.